What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream. It is September 16th, 2021, Thursday. This is the date about 10.20 p.m. West Coast time, California. Latest quake on the globe is a 2.8 around the Puerto Rico area. Quite a bit of earthquake movement up here in the northern section of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Some deep movement as well taking place in this region go ahead and check out the activity on the USGS map here if we can get to it real quick there we go see some of the activity up here into the Aleutian Trench let's go ahead and bring all magnitudes down here take a look at what's going on had a couple fives kicking off up here in the little cluster 5.6 the largest roughly within that area where the eight pointer struck oh over a month or so ago now check out the all magnitudes well that's that's quite a bit Go ahead and uh, run 4.5 is not a whole lot so yeah roughly within that same area where we've seen that um, large quake strike there some time ago so i believe this is still just aftershock activity kicking up within that region i uh, did see some movement over here well west of the uh, kamchatka trench way into the subduction zone looks like about 495 kilometers some pretty deep significant movement there well north of Japan, <clears throat> off the coast of Russia. Uh, did see a little bit, little bit of activity uh, in Japan area, 5.4 at 10 kilometers, pretty shallow quake uh, to the northeast or northwest of Tokyo, it looks like. Kind of in an odd area. Uh, further down south, relatively quiet along the Philippine plate and uh, Indonesia, getting in on some action as well. Nothing significant at the moment. Solomon Islands had a 5.0. And over here around the Fiji Islands area, some deep movement, you guessed it. 4.9, 526 kilometers way down there, way below the surface. Uh, movement out in the South Pacific looks pretty quiet. South Sandwich Islands is significantly absent of earthquake activity today. It's kind of odd, very odd, but uh, as these plates shuffle around, uh, movement uh, transfers and applies in different areas at any given time so right now pretty pretty uh, mellow for the most part when it comes to pressure uh, here in this region at the moment the South America area getting in on some earthquake activity quite a few fours into the uh, Peru Chile trench uh, no significant movement yet in that area did see some movement uh, over here in the Mexico area 4.7 and also towards the uh, Gulf of California, uh, here along the um, Pacific Plate to 4.3, just off the coast of Mexico, into the North America region. California lighting up like crazy once again. We're also looking at a return of earthquake activity along the southern end of the Cascadia uh, subduction zone. I had a 2.6 near Petrolia at about 30 kilometers below surface. Uh, some movement also right here on the northern end of the San Andreas Fault, right smack dab on it, a 1.7 near Point Arena at 3.2 kilometers below the surface. Uh, also a little bit of movement here on the west side of the valley. It looks like uh, west of Stony Gorge. It's just up there. Uh, a little bit ago doing a little documentary on the uh, lake level. I, I can only imagine what it looks like now. The earthquake struck uh, looks like a mile or so to the west into the, uh, what is that, the Gravely Ridge. Kind of a little mountain range that uh, kind of forms up here before you get into the valley, into the Sacramento Valley. Uh, Northern California looks pretty quiet there in the Sierras. We're getting a little, re little return of app, uh, little, little return of earthquake activity uh, near the Lake Tahoe region. Nothing underneath the lake like we had seen in the past, but a couple small microquakes at the northern shore area of Lake Tahoe. Um, what do we got here around the Antelope Valley area? Some microquakes kicking off as well. Mono Lake, pretty quiet. Long Valley super volcano dwindling with uh, earthquake activity. Did see some movement outside of Carson City, uh, right around the Dayton area. A couple small microquakes and up here near Pyramid Lake as well. Just some random 
uh, microquakes in that area. Ridgecrest uh, getting in onto movement. Uh, looks a little quiet there though. Not a whole lot of aftershocks. 2.1 near to Hatchapi, right on this uh, white. What is this? A white wolf? White wolf fault zone right at the. It looks like the northeastern edge there. A little 2.1. Uh, down here in the south part of the state. A little, little bit of activity off the coast of San Diego. A little 1.1. Some movement along the San Jacinto fault area as well. Uh, we're getting a little swarm of activity through the Intermountain West regions. Uh, including it looks like some activity in the Yellowstone area. Um, let's go ahead and check out the uh, map here on the Yellowstone uh, real quick. I believe they I believe I've seen this a little bit earlier let's see here and a little bit of activity kicking up looks like on the northwest corner of the park purple mountain Norris Junction and also looks like Mary Lake kicking up on some of the uh, activity um, every single one of these little spikes here is a indeed an earthquake and it looks like it uh, kind of ramped up here within the last couple hours so have to keep an eye on it right now it's just strictly microquakes in the uh, region of the northwest corner of the park but uh, as always this could turn into something uh, uh, much more uh, much more intense when it comes to earthquake swarm in there at Yellowstone National Park uh, there's the microquakes that it did pick up Yellowstone Lake sits over here so these guys only register about 13 earthquakes in the microquake department uh, definitely more will be added as they uh, go through and sort them out uh, let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> a little bit of activity scattered out and about the Texas region and also Oklahoma. The New Madrid fault system, very quiet. The East Coast, very quiet as well. Puerto Rico calming down a little. Not a whole lot of movement around the Puerto Rico Trench today. Let's check out the trimmer map here along the Pacific Northwest Cascadia subduction zone. And uh, we're still seeing some activity at the southern end in the northern California and parts of southern Oregon uh, along the coastal range right there. So only about, uh, what do we got, 39 epicenters of trimmer in the Cascadia. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Um, hope everyone has a uh, good night. Going to get back into the photos tomorrow. Been kind of slacking, I know. Uh, just been uh, hanging out. And, uh, you know, just kind of living day by day. But um, look at that little thingy, that little thingy <laughs> hanging off the sun right there. Uh, kind of a neat little, uh, let's see, let's look, that, look at that real quick here on the solar weather page. See if these guys have anything to say about that. I know there's some sunspots coming around the bend, but that kind of looks like a, uh, um, oh gosh darn it, I can't even think of the word right now. I'm just tired. I'm completely tired and drained. Kind of see it on this image too. Um, much more darker on the other, on the other sun feature, but, uh. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't see any significant uh, notifications yet um, from any space weather sources. It looks like uh, even a, wow, 1% chance of a sea flare. That will change, I believe, as we look at uh, the activity coming around the bin. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. We will chat you guys another time.